York Fashion Week is the first of almost a month of fashion weeks around uh, the Western world. So it's followed by London, Milan, and Paris. And they have additional fashion weeks, you know, in Tokyo and Johannesburg and elsewhere. But New York Fashion Week sort of kicks it off in the fall. And we've certainly seen that the upcoming season, they're predicting short skirts. Uh, so presumably someone hopes that that old myth about the economy gets better and, and hemlines go up will hold true. Maybe if we bring the hemlines up, the economy will improve. Um, nowadays, it's hard to track any one set of trends because ever since the 1970s, there have been so many different kinds of designers. It's no longer the way it was in the past where you could say there's one new look and everybody has to fall in line. So depending on which designers you go to, you'll see somewhat different trends. But I think, for example, if you looked at, say, the Calvin Klein show with Francesco Costa, that was all about pale colors and about interesting textiles. So you have a, a somewhat what looks somewhat rustic, but is in fact a very sophisticated kind of textiles that give a loose, easygoing approach. And in general, this kind of the short skirt, but with a loose flowing sort of body to the dress, that's something we've seen at a number of places. So even someone like Narciso Rodriguez, who tends to go very close to the body, very sort of body conscious, even he was somewhat looser might have a sort of a, a racer back that was a little body exposing, but then the rest of the dress was sort of free-floating and very summery and pretty. New York has the reputation for being more practical, more sporty. London for being sort of out there. Um, Italy for being sexy and also sort of luxurious, but it, not difficult to wear and Paris for being the most high fashion, the most conceptual, and the most international. So it used to be said that America just copied Paris. And in the past, to a considerable extent, that was true. And I think that was really one of the reasons why they moved it. So New York Fashion Week was first. And you then couldn't say, oh, New York is just copying Paris because it was launching the whole season. I think in general, um, a lot of the most wearable, and this year probably some of the most affordable things, are going to be coming out of New York. The time lag between Fashion Week and when the clothes hit the stores is a huge and growing problem. Um, it used to be that, although it was the same amount of time, you didn't really know so much in advance. And now you see it within hours of the show, it's on the internet, then it's in the magazines, and people are bombarded with information. But by the time it hits the stores, it's really sort of the next fashion week. And people are getting tired of waiting. They'd rather jump in and catch the trends as they're produced by fast, fa fast fashion houses. And so sooner or later, I think, there will have to be a, a reorganization whereby there'll be less of a time lag. And we'll see the clothes, and the clothes will arrive in the stores um, more quickly. And you'll be able to also buy them closer to the season. Because right now, we're seeing the spring-summer clothes in September, October. They'll hit the stores sort of you know, early spring, and there's this huge time lag.